I've been with the Inn for five years. I've been with ZMC total for 15 years. It really wasn't on my agenda to do any of this when I first came here. This was um, something that came about two years ago. Somebody asked me to be a test site and they wanted to use no fertilizers on our backyard. And I thought it was a ridiculous idea and I thought it was a waste of my time, um, but it was really thought of highly at the corporate level and they asked us to do it and I said, well, anything you guys tell me to do, I'm going to do. And then I started doing a little research because I didn't realize how much media attention we, we would actually get and it was a lot. So it became, let's see what else we can do or at least just look into it a little bit more. ZMC Hotels is about 30 properties. We have a lot of hotels located in Minnesota and Wisconsin, um, in Michigan, and Missouri, so a lot in the Midwest, um, and several in Arizona. Um, and then we have properties in Florida, North Carolina. We have more garbage than any household every day. I mean, each guest room puts out 2.5 pounds of garbage a day. When you have 175 rooms a day rented out and there's five people in the room, that's so much garbage, oh my gosh. So, you know, that, that is something that we have to look at is that's a, if you look at all the hotels, that's a big source of what's going into our landfill and what doesn't need to. We actually are recycling in every guest room. That's huge. We have food waste and we have commingled in every guest room, we're the only ones in Duluth that, that does that. Um, CFL lighting in all, all the guest rooms and food waste composting and no chemicals on the lawn. Those are all the things that we've um, put forth at this point in the game. Right from the beginning on all the website research that I've done, it said put a green team together and that's my team, is me and Kara. So the hope is that we um, you know, can take what we've already done take what we're learning now and continue and then you know hopefully build off that and get our other properties um, you know programs started up so that we can say here's where to start and, and actually have steps in order for them to do it. It's a great thing and it's a great thing just to know other people in our community and, and you know hopefully we're all interested in the same thing and we all have a lot of the same challenges and we can just help each other out. You know I've already accomplished something from the last two day session and what that was is taking everything I've already done, putting it on paper and stepping back and looking at the big picture. What I found is that we actually did things backwards from what this training is all about. We just said, okay, let's do that. Good idea. Well, we didn't look at the consequences of labor and we did a little bit, but labor and money and how does it come out of the community and how does it come out of sustainability and is it going to last forever or are you just do it, doing it to be great? Well I'm really interested in just the actual natural step and how it's worked for different cities. You know just to change the thought on public transportation to get people to ride the bus and to get people to bike and, and not to think that it's a dorky thing to ride the bus but to think it's actually a positive thing. Just I feel like we can move forward and look at things from a bigger picture and actually remove some of the problems so that we're going into it cleaner and more efficient and more streamlined. And I don't want to stop where I'm at, you know, and I think a year worth of this and putting a mission together and putting all these ideas and thoughts on paper will get us to the next level and I could not have done that if I didn't do this. My vision is that I have happy, healthy employees who bring back happy guests who feel good about where they're buying their business from, to be a leader in the community and to be a voice and to take it to the next level because we don't have a choice. We don't have a choice and it's either going to cost us money now or it's going to cost us a lot more in the long run because I surely do not want to be the guy who didn't get on the ball from the beginning because that's going to be a hard person to be.